Hi guys. Had a couple of requests from people wanting to know where I buy these solar fluttering butterflies or dragonflies from. And it seems to be the right time of year for them to be back in the shops. I buy them in these bargain stores as I call them. Places like Poundland or 99p store or Home Bargains, Pound Stretcher, uh, what else is Pound World, there's a whole series of these shops that do things for a pound or thereabouts. Anyway, I went into 99p store today and they've got shelves full of these things again. So I had an idea that I might use the motor for a fa another fan driven car and in the 99p store they've got this cyclone flyer for 99p it's one of these things that you pull the string and it shoots up in the air and what caught my eye was I thought the actual propeller blades or fan blades looked particularly aerodynamic I thought they looked quite good, they've got nice curve to them so I thought we'd try that and see if the motor's got enough power to actually spin one. I don't know if it'll work solar powered, I'll give it a try just for fun but if the solar panel isn't enough then I'll have to put a battery on it and we'll run it from there. The first problem is the hole in the base which that goes into is much too big for the shaft of the motor so I need to find something that I can fill that hole with and then plug the motor into it and see if it will run I suppose the first thing I ought to do is show you the motor so we don't need that there's a handy little metal tubes for something or other a couple of handy bits of plastic for something else and eventually we get down to the solar panel and the electric motor and there's a couple of wires come off the back of the solar panel and just connect onto the bottom of the motor Right, just a bit of sticky tape on there. I go over by the light. So you can see it turning. Fairly gently. It's not designed to be a high speed item. And I very much doubt it'll, if it'll have enough power to turn that big propeller blade. But I'm going to give it a try. So we need something to match that size hole. Let's put that light out of the way. I've been going through my box of salvaged bits from ballpoint pens. Oh. Looking at that, that's a felt tip pen. That might be good enough just for the purpose of this test. So we do actually need a hole in it. That's not going to be very central. See, I haven't got that on there very well. Let's try that light again. Oh, 
I'm quite surprised that's got enough power to spin it. But I don't think that's going to be anything like enough power to drive a car forwards. That's very gentle. And it's also the wrong direction, I think. That's spinning that way. Yeah, that's the wrong direction. There we are. I've turned it round the other way. I can't imagine, like I say, I can't imagine there's going to be enough speed there to actually move it. Especially being as the blade is actually getting in the way of the solar panel. Let's see what we can make. Well, there it is, up together for what it is. The body is Corex plastic, as I understand it. It's um, like corrugated cardboard, but it's plastic. I've used small bits of it for the axle tubes, front and back, then barbecue skewers for the axles. CDs for the wheels with plastic bottle tops hot glued to the middle of them for the hubs. I've used one of the metal tubes that came with the fluttering butterfly as the uh, mounting for it. Another bit of Corex under there, sort of a triangle shape to lift it up at the back so that it clears the wheels. So we now need a very hot sunny day to see if it will move. In the conservatory I've set the car up. I've also set a time lapse camera up because it's cloudy out there at the moment. I don't think we're going to get much sunlight. I've opened the door at the moment so that if we do get any sunlight at least it doesn't go through the windows first. So we'll just have to see. I've just remembered I was going to cut the ring off the outside of this rotor blade because we don't need that. Let's cut them off. So it should be significantly lighter now. In the camera it appears to be going the wrong way but that's just the frame rate. I've now got a pane of glass on the ground to minimise any friction, but we're still not moving. Wow. It looks like it wants to move, but it's not. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to go uphill slightly. Definite movement. Not much, but it did. Because that could just as easily be a breeze blowing in the door. I don't want to close the door because we lose some of the sun's radiation. That's what it looks like. It looks like I'm slightly going uphill there when I stop the rotor it rolls backwards.
That was interesting. Unexpected, but interesting. It worked. I'll just quickly demonstrate how little power this actually needs to get it going. So, the amount of power we're getting from there is tiny, but I've reduced the friction as much as I can, short of putting proper bearings on the axles, and it looks like it gives us just enough when the sun's at its brightest to get a bit of motion. So, I'll call it a success, even though it's pretty borderline. <laughs>